Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial and this is part of some of the video I will do as part of big data processing and today I'm going to talk about uh, running Java with Cassandra in Docker and in this video I'm going to make a small uh, demonstrations to make just for introductory ones how you can connect both of them to get started so as part of the requirement here i have the jdk 17 so i will use the latest versions of uh, the spring boot as now it is 3.34 and then maven so i also have maven installed if you don't have maven please install it and also install the jdk 17 in your system and this one you are going to install it inside docker and then with your preferred IDE so without a further ado what I will do now is um, I will start the spring initializer so here if you are new of course you can just google spring initializer on google then you will get access to this link and yeah so I select java mavens and here I select this version 3.34 and here I'm going to enter the name of our artifact Java here Cassandra tutorial let's say v01 and then that is it so here description demonstration for Spring Boot and Cassandra and then here for the dependency I need the web dependency and as we have to connect to Cassandra so I will need the Cassandra data here is that spring um, data for Cassandra for NoSQL then I need only these two uh, Dependency now, of course, you can add long box and many other ones. But for now, this is what uh, I need for this uh, tutorial. So then I generate it here. Then it's there. I will open the properties. Then allow this because it is in German. Yours will be in your language. And then here I extract. I will need to extract it. I just extract it then I copy I will copy this one and come here to my folder where do I put it VS code projects I will put it like here in this uh, folder here so the next thing is to open uh, my VS code and then it can be any IDE that you have for mine here is um, I use VS code then open the folder then go in the folder where I have put uh, where we put uh, the VS code where we put our Maven projects it is here so we open that and then that is it so here and if we try to inspect inside our pom.xml what do we have uh, in the dependencies here we have spring boot starter data cassandra for cassandra and then we have the starter web uh, for the web so that is it and then now we need to yeah see us you need um so mm, first of all how do we kick off so i will start as we need docker we need to install uh, an instance of um, cassandra in our system we start with there so what we do i click here a new folder here that I call uh, a new file here that I call uh, we call docker hyphen 
compose.yml. Here is the one here. And so what do we get inside? We need uh, just prepare some script here to make it faster. So here that what we need is to write the service, then Cassandra, then the image that we want, then the container name here, and the port for the OS and the inside, and then the Cassandra, uh, set the Cassandra network. Here's the network with the driver bridge. So this is all we need here to have uh, for our Docker image for Cassandra in the compose file. Then after that one is done, we go here to the console. And then what I do here is I will type, uh, we type Docker compose up D. And then here, pump is successful here and our Docker instance is running. Then the next thing that we need is to connect to uh, the CQL shell, Cassandra shell. In order to do that here, we write uh, Docker XC hyphen IT Cassandra CQL shell. And then when we type that one here, we can see that we are now inside our Cassandra. And then what I need, we need to use now is, um, let's explore it a bit. If I need to use uh, our key space, my key space. Invalid request, my key space does not exist. So we need to uh, create a simple uh, key space. He doesn't exist. So as he doesn't exist here, I will just write this simple uh, pump here so it does not exist uh, what we do here let me uh, go back a bit here what we do i will try to make it a bit organized so here let me go to these resources here and then what i will do i will uh, create uh, my schema here, call it uh, schema.cql, bam is there, and inside that one here, I'm going to put this content here, because we are going to do it in the future, we are going to make it automatic each time we run our project, but for now, let me just, uh, let us do this uh, manually bump here it's created then i also need to create a table i create here a table here with two uh, fields key and the message as test so this is what we have just created now we'll need that one later and then now uh, if i use Sorry, if I use key space now, so we can see that our key space is there now. <coughs> so it's going as planned. And then if you try to select stuff from our table that we have just uh, created, if I select the famous select all from Greetings. 
we can see that uh, here oh it's working here now yeah we have no rows here so what we are going to do now we are going to add some simple uh, make some uh, create some simple uh, rows so what we do now is this one we are going to write this to insert some simple rows And yeah, blah. Take this one here. We take this one out. Okay, the first row is created. Then the next one will be this one. Take this. Insert insert the second row, and then we use again select all. From greetings here, you have two rows now. So that is it for our tables in Cassandra is there. Now we need now is to focus now on the Java side of it and try to see how I can manipulate this data. So that said now what we need um, as we need a small rest uh, uh, controller. So we come here, uh, we need to start with uh, we go the old way and then let's say that we have here one file called greetings.java for our entities then the next one uh, will be uh, greetings repository or the repository the java and then on that one is there i need uh, another file uh, greetings controller yeah so that's all we need here we need uh, first we start from this one here so uh, to go faster here so i just prepare that this script here so what we have now is our greeting entities and here you can see this uh, primary key that's the uh, id of that u uh, uid UUID here for the primary key, it's unique. Here is represent an, as you can see, it's a class that represents an immutable universal unique identifier with uh, a value of uh, 128 bits. And then here, the next thing here is the string, the message here. And the remaining one are just setters and getters, but if you use them both here, uh, these fetters will be will not need them so i just keep this uh, this way empty constructor here and then the serialize constructor with the message then next thing here is our repository here so we need to add our repository here uh, we need to extend uh, Cassandra, the Cassandra repository, and then inside here we'll need we'll need uh, greetings. Our entity and uh, UID, the primary key, and we need to max some uh, Cassandra repository. Uh, it's not there, why not?
Oh, sorry, this one should be... Uh, oh, what have I done? This one should be an interface. This one should be an interface, not a class. And then pom. Yeah, sorry, this one is an interface here. Repository here is an interface, not a Java class. That's why we got this error. So we go back here is our entity. Then we have our repository, which is ready. And the next thing that we need here will be uh, our controller. We are almost there. So as part of that here, we need to make this one. Let's declare this one as a REST controller. Uh, then after that, we need to add the mapping for the URL requests. Mapping here we have slash. API slash greetings. So request mapping. Okay. So here is that one here. And then after that one, we have declared this one. Then we need to inject an instance of our repository so we need to wire it private greeting repository here that now on this one is done here so for we need the post gets by id and then get alls and all these things so just quickly use this one here so here to post an instance here we have our post method here we have get by id and then we have getting uh, hello here with the hello point here and yeah and then uh, uh, after that one so we need uh, the last thing that we need will be uh, the first another method that's important that we might need will be uh, to get uh, get all greetings and for that I need get mapping sorry as this one will be the default here so nothing is needed but here public list Greetings, get all greetings, here list, uh, what I need is return, greeting repository, find all. And then we need to import this list. Oh, what have I, oh sorry, the name was already, uh, this one was already co to completed below. So you just remove them, then it's okay here. Now we have everything that we needed. This one is not needed, so we cut it off. Save it. Uh, we are almost there and yeah so once on this one is done here now we need to specify uh, 
the connections to Cassandra here. So in the property files, in my case here, in this tutorial here, we prefer to use uh, the YAML file instead of the application of properties. So this one we can delete this one and add the application.yaml here is that and just yeah move faster 20 minutes bump here so what we need now is to connect to set this connections point here to connect to the running instance of Cassandra and as you can see here we are exposing Cassandra to this uh, 9042 so we need to connect to that one here so that is it and what is remaining again and I think everything is there already so what we need to do now is to build our projects and see how they goes clean install successful then the next thing that we need is to Maven's uh, we need to run it so right Maven spring boot run and pam 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 uh what is the problem here oh this is uh identify we already have one instance something is already using um This port is already been used, so when we go here, uh, what is using that port? And something is using that port. Uh, where is that problem? Uh, this one. No, 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 what? No, no, not that. Where is the problem? Uh, so what we'll need to do is to kill that one and let me go to the CMD and maybe try to find that let's start Aeon Fine Okay uh, My keyboard is betraying me here Okay Fine string Eighty eighty You can see this one is the port number uh, this is the service ID so what we can do now is to try to kill it 
and if I write delete go Uh, so thus, uh, I'll go with thus kill, thus kill with PID. Here I will enter the process ID and we force it. Oh, still not fine. Why? Task kill is with double K. Okay, yeah, it's terminated now. If we go back again and clear this one and try to run it, to run our applications, Bam, it's running now and it's time to test it. So in order to test that one here, I will go to the local host greetings API. Bam, you can see that bam is working and then we can also take this ID and go slash. ID no it's without double quote ah okay we can get this one by ID but the best way to do this one I'm going to use um, instead of using that one I'm going here to use the Thunder client and then I just prepare this one Thunder client if I click this one, you can see that it's working. Uh, we can also go by ID. Here with ID. Bam is returning uh, the ID and we can also post a new message here. So if we take this one, go to body here we are going to make it bigger body here and we put a simple message here this hello this is a new message from this tutorial and if we send this one we can see that it's successful if we go back here inside our Cassandra and try to select all we can see our new message here on top here so that is it in this tutorial I've shown you how you can how you can yeah, create a running instance of Cassandra in docker here is the one here running and is put on this port 9042 and then here and here I just the basic Java uh, code here so beside that one here we connect uh, to yeah Cassandra here is where we connect our Maven projects uh, stream boot projects to Cassandra and this is our key space here and the key space is just like uh, the database in traditional uh, in relational this traditional IDBMS and yeah that is it and I hope that this one has been useful to you and then stay tuned for the next common video video tutorial 
probably on one topic. It might be about Kafka or yeah, or about yeah, combining what you have done before with um, Spark and Cassandra. So let's see. Stay tuned. Bye.